Hello and welcome to the Come and See channel, where the world's headlines never cease to amaze. A huge, strange looking fish washed up on a California beach. Scientists say it's a first. This is the extraordinary tale of how a massive, strange looking fish wound up on the beach on the other side of the world from where it lives. This seven foot fish washed up at the UC Santa Barbara's Coal Oil, and Coal Oil Point Reserve in Southern California. Researchers first thought it was similar and a more common species of a sunfish until someone posted photos on a nature site and the experts weighed in. What transpired after that surprised research from California to Australia and New Zealand? It turned out to be a species never ever seen before in North America. It's called the Hoodwinker Sunfish. When these clear pictures came through, I thought there was no doubt. This is a totally a hoodwinker, said Marianne Nyagard, a marine scientist who discovered this species in 2017. She said, I couldn't believe it. I nearly fell out of my chair. Miss Nyagard said she spent years chasing the hoodwinker sunfish before she located and named that fish and all cases of the big fish were found in Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, and Chile. She said, except for one time in the 1890s when drawings and records documented this fish appearing in the Netherlands. Scientists say there are five species of saltwater sunfish and they come from all different places. They enjoy the tropical waters. Unlike the subtropics and the hoodwinker prefers temperate water. Miss Nyagar told CNN she works in the Marine Division at the Awkward War Memorial in New Zealand. This is why it's so intriguing. Why has it turned up in California? She said. We know it has the temperate distribution around here and off the coast of Chile. But then how did it cross the equator and turn up in California? It's intriguing. It's intriguing, she said. The antics of this wayward fish are comical, especially considering how the species got its name. She realized some species of this sunfish had been misidentified. One species that was thought to be rare was very common, while another fish thought to be common was misidentified. It had gone unnoticed because no one really realized it looked different. Look at the size of that sucker. There's a long history of confusion about the species in the sunfish family. This fish had managed to stay out of sight and out of everybody's attention. It had been taken for a mola mola, an ocean sunfish. So it was hoodwinkling us all. And a bit of hoodwinkling is what it is doing to the research in California. This is certainly the most remarkable organism I have ever seen wash up on the beach in my four years at the reserve. Mr. Nielsen said of from the UC Santa Barbara. She posted photos of this fish on the reserve's Facebook page. It is the most unusual fish you've ever seen said the UC Santa Barbara associate professor. It ain't got no tail. All of its teeth are fused, so it doesn't have any teeth. It's just got this big round fat opening for a mouth. She was stunned. 
to discover that it may be the first record in all of the Americas and the only second Northern Hemisphere record for the species. Then she got very excited. But how did it get there? No one is sure whether this lonely fish wandered far from home on its own or is part of a population of hoodwinkers in North America that is yet to be discovered. <laughs>